All right, well, today we're going to look at uh, the problem of over-irrigation. Now, we know plants like water, and it's tempting to give them too much. Um, here we have the chameleon reading blue at every depth. So the soil is wet at every depth. Now, that's not a bad thing, but it could be. <laughs> because if I irrigate a soil that's already wet, I'm going to do it now with the syringe on the sponge, you will see that the sponge initially is holding more water. I'm putting water on the top, and the water is held in this sponge. And that's what soil is. It's like a sponge that holds onto water. But if I keep adding water to the soil, really, you can see there's only so much water that a soil can hold. And now that water is... Uh, dripping out the bottom because the soil is holding all that it can. So if I went to measure what's coming out of the soil, I've just got a drop of water and put it on a nitrate test strip, and we need that to colour up, which takes us a minute, but we'll see how much nutrient is actually moving out of that top layer. Okay, so we've irrigated the soil, and we were already wet, but we put more water on, We've pushed water out of the soil, and we've also pushed nitrate out of the soil. And we can see that uh, about 100 parts per million of nitrate is now uh, moving down out of that soil layer, down into lower layers. Right, let's say we keep irrigating because we, you know, we don't know the soil's totally wet, and we think plants like lots of water, so we keep irrigating. And of course we keep irrigating, but the water we're putting on the top is just going to move through the soil and come out the bottom. So let's see what we've got coming out now. Just catch a drop. Now we have to wait another minute. So we've waited our minute, and now perhaps you've only got uh, 25 parts per million of nitrate in the soil. So this is the first one. If I put the two together we can see that we've gone from about 100 down to 25 because we've washed our nutrients out of the soil.